What's going on YouTube Chamber Productions coming back at you with another Transformers video review and in today's video I'll be taking a look at the brand new Transformers Studio Series core class Shockwave. Now Shockwave, this is an interesting figure in my opinion because um, Shockwave from the Bumblebee movie is obviously around the same height as a lot of the other characters but for whatever reason they made a core class figure of this character which leaves a lot of different questions because there isn't really any news at the time of this recording, saying that there's any real reason they did this, but anyway, I like the design. So here we have Core Class Shockwave in the packaging and everything. So this is kind of going to be what we're going to be getting with uh, Studio Series and Core Class. You've got an open window of the figure here on the front. I got some amazing uh, artwork, a picture there of Shockwave. Some more pictures here on the sides of shockwave core class and come around here to the bag we can see robot mode of shockwave the tank mode that he converts in 13 steps all that good stuff so without further ado let's go ahead and get shockwave opened up out of the packaging here just cut this open there we go set that down and open this bad boy up right here we've got his instructions as you can see so you can see what that's going to be like and then slide the figure out and here we have shockwave so, so here we have shockwave kind of with his little background here of cybertron so let's just go ahead and get him untied like that here we have a little teeny tiny baby shockwave from the Bumblebee movie. So, there we have that. Those hip joints I can already tell are horrendously loose. But, it is what it is. And then, here is his blaster, which just pegs into his hand. Yes, just pegs into his hand. So, there we have Shockwave opened up and out of the packaging. Let's go ahead and get him transformed into his tank mode and then carry on with the review. And here we have the Bumblebee Movie Core Class Shockwave in his tank mode. Now, this is a really cool figure. Um, Very reminiscent in tank mode to the Transformers Prime version of Shockwave, which I love Transformers Prime. I think this is a really, really awesome callback to that that design of the character but um yeah here we have shockwave in his little tank mode looks very very nice um again very reminiscent to that transformers prime version of shockwave you can see you got the turret there on top you got the uh when the window kind of here at the front you can see the treads here on the sides some mechanical detail now there is according to the directions there is one major issue with this tank mode so everything looks good for the most part you got some more treads here at the back and whatnot then you get to the back of the tank mode and the entire robot mode head is jutting out of the back destroy the launch pad let none escape i'm not even kidding that's how the instructions say to transform this thing I mean, it does give you a little bit of articulation, you get side to side, you know, you get some up and down movement as well, which is really nice, it gets it in some really cool looking poses, but, wow, just leave the entirety of the head hanging out the back. Oh well, it is what it is, there is one other way, I thought this is how it transformed for sure, so when you go to transform it, you remove the barrel. So I thought for sure you leave this tab post, uh, this peg right here folded up, and then you just slide the uh, the tank turret over top the head to kind of cover that. And that is an option; it does stay in place. So I mean, it, it is an option, and you can still get tank uh, turret rotation out of it. It's just not no up and down, and it conceals the head. So I, I'm not 100% sure how you're supposed to transform this thing. And for some size comparisons, here we have VW Deluxe Class Studio Series Bumblebee. And, again, this is a tiny figure, especially for um, this being Shockwave. I really, really think um, it would have been a good idea to make this a Voyager-scaled figure. But, I mean, 
who knows? We'll see what Hasbro does in the future. And then for one more size comparison, here is uh, Studio Series Voyager Class Thrust. Um, just, again, so you can get a scale, a sense of scale for this guy. So, I mean, you can see he's a tiny little figure, but uh, we'll see what Hasbro does in the future. I'm sure they'll make a proper scaled uh, figure. So, I mean, yeah, as far as a tank mode for this little shockwave goes, I think it's really, really nice. Not without its flaws, but I do think it is a nice rendition of shockwave's tank mode. I think the weakest perspective to look at this tank at is from the back because you have the fists exposed here at the back. Um, and then you have the robot mode head exposed if you go through the transformation by the instructions. But I mean, overall, I think the tank mode itself isn't a bad rendition of Shockwave's tank mode. But moving into the transformation and going into the robot mode, we're going to start off with, we're going to take the tank turret here and remove it from the actual tank itself. And then we take this little peg here and fold it up. This will become his cannon for robot mode. Then we're going to take the arms here and push them in. That will untab the arms from this section of the tank. Then that will allow us to take this whole assembly here push it up, we can go ahead and take the robot mode head and rotate it around just like so. Make sure that stays all the way back. We can take these sections here and then untab them just like so. Come around to the underside here, take this section of the tank and untab it just like so. And then this whole assembly will rotate up to become his chest. And there is a tab right there and a peg, right? Well, a tab hole right there and a peg right there that will slide all that into place just like so we can take the legs and move them down like that take the feet fold them forward just like so take the arms rotate them down pop the forearm forward and then rotate the arm around just like so and here we have shockwave pretty much fully transformed the only thing he needs now is his cannon which literally just tabs into his hand, just like so. And here we have a core class shockwave in his robot mode. And the robot mode for shockwave here is really, really good. I gotta admit, for this size scale, they managed to capture a lot of mechanical detail and whatnot on this thing. And he looks really, really good. And he cleans up really good as well. Um, I gotta admit, obviously it's a very simplistic transformation, but, um, you know, there's not a whole lot of, uh, of kibble to really speak of, um, which is really, really nice. So, let's go ahead and take a closer look at the details. And like I was just saying, the detail that they've managed to capture at such a small size scale is quite nice. You can see you got some nice mechanical detail there at the feet, some nice paint there, paint, paint, yeah, some nice paint there on the knees, you can see some mechanical details there on the thighs that have been sculpted in very nicely. As we move up to the upper body, again, some more mechanical detail there on the forearms and whatnot. Just overall, very well sculpted and detailed. And then we get to the head sculpt, and the head sculpt for this figure, come on, focus, looks really, really, really good. Very screen accurate to what we see in the movie. Some very nice paint applications of silver and yellow for his eye. Very very nice, and then his cannon has been molded and detailed very nicely as well. We can see. So, I mean, overall, the robot mode is really, really solid looking for the size scale. I really, I really do like the way this thing looks. Now, obviously, with this guy being a core class figure, he's not going to be as expressive as some figures um, that are in bigger size classes, um, as far as it goes. Now, given this... Now, given the fact this is a core class figure, he's not going to be as expressive um, when compared to some other bigger size scaled uh, size class figures. But going over the articulation, the head is on a swivel that can move full 360, uh, no up or down movement. Arms are on ball joints, so you get some outward movement, full 360 there at the arm. You do have two forms of bicep swivels. You got one at the upper arm as you can see right there, and then you do have one right here for the transformation, which allows you to rotate the arm like so, and then you still have access to that hinge at the elbow. So you do have some extra posability there. Um, as far as the arm with the cannon goes, it's just about the same as the other arm. You do get a little bit more 
range of motion with uh, the cannon not attached to the arm uh, as far as elbow bend goes. But I mean, if you really, for whatever reason, don't want him to have the cannon, uh, it is removable and he does have two, two hands as you can see. Uh, but obviously the more classic look for Shockwave is going to be to have him with his cannon. Uh, but anyway, moving on to the rest of the articulation. Hips are on ball joints, so you do get some forward uh, movement there and some backward movement. And then you do have some um, out to the side kick. And then you do have a transformational hinge here. So, I mean, you may be able to use that. I don't know. Uh, a little bit of thigh swivel, although that is just relying on the ball joint. Uh, a little bit of knee bend. It's not anything near 90 degrees or anything like that, uh, which is kind of unfortunate, but you do have some forward and backwards ankle uh, movement. No ankle uh, tilt, so to speak, um, which is, again, this this figure is a smaller size scale, so he's not going to have as much articulation, but I mean, overall, you can pull him off as, into some uh, pretty cool poses. And just for some quick size comparisons, here we have the Studio Series Deluxe Class Off-Road Bumblebee, and we can see Bumblebee just dwarfs this guy, which obviously isn't in scale, but, you know, there you have that. We have Studio Series uh, Starscream uh, from the Bumblebee movie. We can see this is a Voyager-class figure, and uh, again, just not in scale. It's, it's, it's weird why they chose to do this, and then for one more Bumblebee, Bumblebee movie design, here we have Voyager Bumblebee movie Optimus Prime. So again, it's weird why they chose to make this character a core class figure, and I got a feeling they'll make a like a larger uh, Voyager representation of the character, but I mean, again, for a little core class version of this character, I think he's really, really good. So overall, what are my official thoughts and opinions about the Transformers Studio Series core class Shockwave from the Bumblebee movie? Overall, I think it's a great representation of the character. I do question why they made him a core class figure when, so far, all the other Decepticons from the Bumblebee movie have at least been a Voyager or a Deluxe class uh, size scale, and then there's just this guy. And then there is a core class Ravage, which makes sense because um, he is going to fit in the chest of Soundwave, but they made Soundwave a Voyager class figure, so why not this guy? Some speculate that it is a part of, like, they're going to make a, a launch pad set from the Bumblebee movie. Um, obviously, Shockwave commanded the Seekers to destroy the launch pad before the Autobots could escape Cybertron, which failed miserably. But um, some people speculate that they're going to make, like, a giant launch pad play set and that the figures that are going to go with it are going to be core class scaled, so they made this. But I definitely do think they'll be returning to make a Voyager class representation of the character. But, I mean, as far as this guy goes, I recommend him. He's a really cool little figure. I, I, I quite frankly think if you enjoy the Bumblebee movie designs, then this guy will not let you down, especially with him being smaller. Obviously, he's going to be a little bit more affordable. I, I just really do think he is a really cool little figure. I definitely, definitely a solid recommend. Not perfect, but I definitely do think he is a lot of fun. But guys, that's all for me. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If so, be sure to leave a like, comment what you think of Shockwave down in the comment section below, and be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss a video from my channel. That's all for me, Champion Productions, signing off.